I think today is one devotee who wants to share from Japan. Na? Kishori was writing me. And also our Dina Dayal from Croatia wants to share. Wow. So we are very lucky. So well, from Japan? Japan, uh, Kishori write me. It's because she wanted to... Her name is uh, Jiva Mukti, Ma Jiva Mukti. Yes, yes. Ah, there you are. Yes. Radhe Radhe, nice to hear How you. How are you? <laughs> Very good. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Ito, sorry, today is the guest of the はい、ラマニーさん。あ、ラマニーさん。あ、ラマニーさん。はい、裏で私が英語に訳します。ありがとうございます。すみません。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。あ、ご紹介と日本でヨガセンターを開いた
And Jananda Maharaj is also coming. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe, thank you. そして、帰ってから、その、グルデーバにお会いしたのは、マンガラ・アラティさんのブリンダーバン写真展で,でした。I met Gurudev at, um, let's say, the Manga Arati's、uh, photo, photo exhibition in Japan. で、私はグルデーバにお会いして、すぐに、入門したいと申し出ました。もちろん入門の意味も知らずに、ただこの人に学びたいと思ったのです。I want to study, I want to follow from him. その時、キショーリーさんもいらっしゃいました。At that time, k i s h o r i is also there. 私は、バガバットギーターとグルデーバのご本をそこで2冊購入しました。I bought two books, バガバットギーター and another book from t h e The translation of the Jain and the Maharaj. その日からちょうど2ヶ月後、ちょうど4年前の6月です。私は急にスタジオを開くことになってしまいました。After two months ago at that day,、um, four years ago, June, I, I have no idea, but to have a chance to open a studio, yoga studio, yoga center. なぜ私がと思いましたが、考えてみると、ブリンダーバンに行ったこと、そして次にブルー、グルが欲しいと思ったこと、そして一番大きかったのは、何も知らなかったんですが、マハーマントラをずっと唱えていたことだったと思います。At that time, I thought, why it happened? But I, I thought, one is、uh, I went to the Vrindavan, and second is、um, I eager to have a good day. And the biggest thing, the third thing is I chanted Maha Mantra. So, Vrindavan, you take a lot of time to see the idea of what I know, 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 what そのことに大変驚きました。After I went to Brindaban in, in, in half a year,、uh, to my uh, hope uh, come to, to,、uh, come to true, and I was so surprised. 私は今、そのスタジオで毎日ヨガのレッスンをしながら、バクティというものをほんの少しですけれどもエッセンスを伝えています。Now, I am、um, in my studio.、Um, I'm teaching, but a little bit, very, very little bit, but teaching an essence of the Bhakti Yoga in my studio. そのそのスタジオ、そのグリーンラバーにいた次の年にも今度はジャヤナンダグルデープに連れて行っていただいたムンゲルラージでタグマハラージにお会いすることができました。After opening the studio, the next year, I went to Vrindavan with ジャヤナンダマハラージ and I could meet サルマハラージ in ムンゲルマンディア。私はマージーバムクティというお名前をマハラージからいただきました。I got, I got a name from Sadhu Maharaj, Majiba Mukti, this name. なぜなら、おそらくですが、私が生徒さんたちを少しでもバクティの方向に連れて行きたいと願ったのを、サドゥマハラージが分かってくださったからだと思いました。I thought the reason of the name,、um, 
I wanted. The Sadhu Maharaj knows what I wanted to is uh, taking my student to the the bhakti way a little by little. 私は決して自分が特別だと思ってこの話をしているわけではなく、マントラとグルデーバ、そしてブリンダーバンというのは、すごい力を持っているのだということを皆さんにシェアしたかったからです。I didn't thought I am special, but、um, I just wanted to, to share to you that mantra and good ever and r e d a v a n has a special power. 毎日何も知らずに108回、マントラを唱えていた。それでも、マントラは、私のようなものを、グリンダーバンに連れてってい、行ってくれて、そして、グルに出会わせてくれました。No, nothing, but I chanted Maha Mantra 108 times, and then that take me to the Guru Dev and g r i n d a v a n 今のスタジオで、毎月、ジャヤナンダ・グルデーバが、講座を開いてくれてます。In my studio, studio, and ジャヤナンダ・マハラジ have a lecture every month. そのレクチャーに、たくさんのディボーティーたちが集まって、もちろん学びが大事なんですけれども、それ以外に、交際を深めています。Many devotees are coming that lecture and of course the learning, the, the, the shastra is important, but、um, we are gathering and、um, having sangha in that studio. そして今はチャイタニアチャリタムリタを学ばせていただいてます。Now Janana Maharaj is le- having lecture of the ch- ch- Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Now, the studio. 毎日、ジャヤナンダ・マハラージはオンラインクラスで、チャイタニア・チャリタ・ムリタやバーガバタムなど教えていただいてるんですが、私たちは全体像があまり分かっていなくて、この講座では、チャイタニア・チャリタ・ムリタの最重要賞という名前なんですが、その中でも、全体の中で、この最重要賞がどんな位置づけになるかということを教えていただいてます。Every day, we Japanese can have,、uh, every day, the lecture from Janan Maharaj, like, uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, or the Chaitan Chaitamrita. But we, uh, we are not knowing about the whole story, whole, whole meaning of the Shastras, but that That lecture in the studio, Janana Maharaj is teaching us the、um, most important、uh, point of the Chaitanya Charita Murita and the whole sh- the meaning of the Shastras. Chaitanya Charita Murita was to the more level of the Kai Kyo Ten that I was teaching us. Janana Mahaj often said Chaitanya Chaitanya Mata is a very, very high level lecture,、uh, Shastra. ですが、学べば学ぶほど、チャイタニアの存在というものが少しずつ身近に感じられるようになってきています。But、uh, every lecture we learned,、um, the, the existence of the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Are becoming a little by little but close to us. そして私たちにとって、グルーとブリンダーバンとマントラがどれだけ大切かということがますます分かってきました。And I found more and more in the importance of g u r d e v and b r i n d a v a n and Maha Mantra. 先月と、あ、4月と5月は、ジャヤナマ・マハラージがお出かけになっていたので
、キショーリーさんとアンダカさんに講座をしていただきました。In April and May, Jenna Maharaja was traveling, so Kishoreji and Andakaji had a lecture instead of Jenna Maharaja. その内容は日本でも初めてと言われる2回でチャイタンニャチャリタムリタの全体を知るという<笑>すごい内容でした。<笑> At that, that lecture, two times, only two times that, uh, uh, you know, she, the, the Kishoreji teaches us the whole story of the Chaitanya Charitamrita just in two, two times lecture. At that, that we, we, many, many says this is, the, um, the first, the first time in the, in the world, even the world. その内容は、ジャヤナナマハラージも聞きたいとおっしゃるほどでした。Even ジャヤナナマハラージ said, I want to listen that lecture. もちろん素晴らしい講座で、涙が出るほど良かったのですが、私が完全にもちろん理解などできるわけはありませんでした。That was a very, very special, great lecture, and I, I had a tears, but of course I couldn't understand much about the Chaitanya Charita Marita, even just two times. ですが、ジャヤナナマハラージがいらっしゃらなくても、その中心にジャヤナナマハラージ、そしてサドマハラージ、そしてチャイタンニャがちゃんとあの会場にいるのいらっしゃるのを感じました。But I felt, even Jayanana Maharaja is not here, but we felt, I felt,、um, there are Jayanana Maharaja and Ch- Sadhu Maharaja and Chaitanya, Ch- Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are, are here existence, existence. スタジオが特別というわけではなく、そこにバイシュナーがリボティたちとグルの慈悲が完全にあるからあのスタジオがここにあるのだなといつも感じます。I don't think my studio is something special, but I feel then the v a i s h n a v a if there is a v a i s h n a v a and the m a r s h i of the Gurudev, the, the place, the studio is, can exist here. その雰囲気がすごくピースフルで愛に溢れているのをいつも感じています。The mood of the studio is so very peaceful and there's so many love here. 講座の内容というよりは、交際が私たちを導いてくれているのを感じます。Um, not the, the meaning, not the, not the, or even not the,、uh? mm-hmm. not only the lecture, what is the lecture, but the, the, Sangha as lead us. どのような状態の人が来ても、頭の中でいろんなことを考えてし,しまう人が来たとしても、あの愛の中に一旦入ってしまうと、もう後戻りできないぐらいの幸せを感じることを痛感しています。Um, what kind of, even what kind of people come, like a, Many, many thinking in their mind, but,、um, the someone can enter that, that, the Sangha and then feeling much, much love. They cannot go back and,、um, the, we are still here in the, the happiness. この間の講座の時には
、最後のキルタンで、みんなが踊って、そして歌いました。Last lecture, there's a kiltan, and they are dancing, and singing, I think, and dance, and Tuesday, the k i l i j i shared also. どんなことを生徒に言うよりも、あの講座にみんなを連れて行きたいなって本当に思います。Not the word, not the word. And the, how many words if, you, if I said, Um, just taking that, that sangha is better for me. その場を作らせていただいているサドマハラージ、ジャヤナンダマハラージ、そしてチャイタンニャの愛に深く感謝したいと思います。いつも本当にありがとうございます。I really appreciate it. Uh, to, to making me that,、uh, circumstances, the yoga studio. Thank you for s a d h u Maharaj, j a n a n a Maharaj, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I'm all of that from them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <笑>ちょっとコメントです。あ、どうしようかな。I would like to give some comments. えっと、日本の方、アナンダ・プレマちゃんのチャンネル、日本語のチャンネルの方で聞いていただいてもいいですか<笑> ?So, she opened, the... so, after we met,、uh, some, some occasion, like a, ブリンダーバン、えー、ピクチャー、ブリンダーバンピクチャー、カインドミュージアム、and、uh, マンガラアルティ、リディ、アレンジド、ディス、えー、ミーティング、and we met,、uh, immediately she's asking something, she,、uh, is there a Japanese Maharaj? or is, So she was, it seems she was very much surprising. Is there some Japanese, some Maharaj or some,、like、some Guru Dev or something? And then she was so sincere. I also surprised to hear this word. Because I never heard in Japan. And then I asking, are you visiting Brindaban? And she said, yes. I went. And then we talk each other. And first meeting, I, I, I love her. I like her. And then automatically, naturally, I accept her, you know, is, is our, our, our dear, what is it, sisters. So, and then, <clears throat> and then, So we start contacting each other. And then she s e n d one mail or maybe some phone. Amazing happening. So this very soon I try to open, I'm, I'm going to open yoga center. Really, I said, to, I told her, what happened to you? I don't know, she said, but some arrangement. Three,、uh, some, some teachers asking me to open yoga center. We can own,、uh, three people could own one, one quite a big room and they can share. So I told her, this is very great idea. So please go ahead. And she's asking me,、uh, Jananda, would you Would you come to our op- opening ceremony? 
I say, why not? Then we did some small puja. I think Beijing Radha Mohan and chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, etc. And then <clears throat> I was thinking, so now you have a small number of students. Maybe if I could do some lecture in your center, maybe you know some other student may come. So if you like, you know, you may arrange like this. And then she sincerely arranged this. This is I think Bhagavad Gita's class. And she's asking me, so what kind of Gita would you like to hear? So she said, well, you know, we need to hear practical application of Bhagavad Gita in, in daily life. Oh, is it? This very nice idea. Okay, I try to explain and answer all your questions in daily life. Then, so we start to uh, talking about Gita. Then at that time, 15, maybe 15 devotees come, maybe sometimes 20 come. And then every, every class we discussed, we share, actually, not discuss, we share and discussing. And then <clears throat> at that time, I think Kebara Bhakti and Manjurari and other devotees also came. And then especially Kebara Bhakti was like, she was very closed in her house and mentally very disturbed. But uh, after, after class, class after class, she became very enlivened. And then a few months, a few months later, she was thinking, oh, let me also chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Please, please initiate. And then we did. And then I think 10 class we did about Gita in practical life. And this class was quite amazing effect. Many devotees could see every devotee, every person who joined us is changing. Then uh, Majiba Bhakti's sister also joined us. And uh, she was very, her sister is a very nice lady who is a Christian. And then she transcript our all whole lectures. Then I said, okay, let us make some books for beginners because everybody some problem in practical daily life. So if every if they read this Gita's class in practical life, might be very beneficial for, for everyone. And then uh, we made it. And uh, that book is very well received. Even devotee's mother, father is reading this book. And also Majibad Bhakti, her, her husband also very nice. Even though she, he may not come to our class, but uh, he is very kind to Majibad Bhakti. Majiba Mukti, and he gave Majiba Mukti one house in very nice place, ancient city called Kamakura. And uh, we are very happy to, to hear. And uh, sometimes we, we visit her house also. She's a very motherly person, very affectionate to everybody. So, and uh, we are learning from her. What is love? What is mother? So uh, thank you very much, Majiba Mukti Didi. And uh, so we appreciate your activity. We pray your, uh, your, you can advance more and more as a Radha Dashi. Thank you very much. Daishidate, wonderful. Thank you both for showing your feelings on the path of Radha Dasyam and how you enter in uh, Vrindavan and then you meet Jainanda Maharaj, you meet also 
Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj, thank you, Mahajiva Mukti, for also helping others know that is uh, actually the highest highest service to help others and help yourself. It goes hand in hand, right? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for everything and uh, thank you for loving action always. <laughs> now we uh, would also in, uh, invite our dear Dina Dayal Prabhu from yeah. Croatia. He would like to share something and Radhe, Radhe. if you are ready. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Radhika will guide me. <laughs> Uh, I didn't prepare anything like special uh, in a way, uh, but just wanted to talk about uh, being loved and guided by Radhika. So uh, I know if I see my life from when I was born and after when I met the devotees and everything, Somehow I can see now that I was always guided by Radhika. Even when I was thinking uh, I'm disconnected or I'm in Maya or whatever, but somehow I was always guided. And uh, I know that we are all guided by Radhika, especially after we make our desire clear that we want to reach Radhika. Then, sorry, if somebody makes that desire, he's finished. You know, there is no turning back. Because in some way or another, Radhika then brings him to herself. In a way, I remember before when I was practicing Vaidhi Bhakti, uh, and I read in Shastra about unconditional love. And it was so confusing concept. Why confusing? Because in my point of view, unconditional, the word says, means without any condition. And in the same time, I was listening, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to be like this, you need to be like that to get love. So in that way, it didn't sound, it, it didn't sound like it's unconditional, wait a minute. But that time I was confused with this. But when I met Gurudev, and when I heard from him that the only thing, only condition is our desire, then it became clear. Then it became clear. Unconditional love will not force you into anything. You need to show your desire. And then they will unconditionally accept you. And, and guide you in growing your love, your bhakti towards them. Because definitely we know it's our desire in the beginning. And as they give us, I mean, Radha and uh, uh, Mohan, as they give us more and more love, our desire naturally, naturally grows. This works naturally. If there are no apparatus, when I say apparada, I don't mean the classical interpretation. I mean the word apa, without, and radha. Without radha. Because with radha, our desire can grow immediately 
stronger and more and more because Radha is love. It's, she's the bhakti essence, if you say, you know. And I, I can see in my life that when, when Radhika came in my life, she was always there, but when she, how to say, presented herself, when I learned about Radhika, uh, it all started to become clear. Because before I was confused with many concepts, uh, with many ways of reaching bhakti. And when Radhika appeared, it all became clear. All my thinking from before and confusion became clear. I was not confused about many things. Of course, I get confused today about some things. But what happens is that uh, Radhika always shows. You know, Radhika always shows the answer. How Gurudev would say, it is amazing. You know, mm -hmm. I remember when this started first happening, when I met Radhika in a way, uh, I was just saying every day, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Now I'm not saying it so much. It's still amazing, but it's like normal. It's totally normal that this is now happening in that way. But when this happened, when I truly allowed to be fully guided by Radhika, and this happened in some difficult time in my life, usually it happens in that way. When people are in some difficult situation, they can more surrender, allow uh, Radhika to guide us more. Because I was in a heavy situation, I will not go into details. And in that moment, I remember I was crying and say, Radhe, please kill me or show me, you know? And then I actually understood, wait a minute, actually, you are probably showing me all the time, but I don't see it. So please give me the eyes, the ears, whatever sight that I can see, that I can really see what you are telling me. And then it started immediately, immediately started through, uh, through Shastra, through Gurudev, through other people and situations, different messages. I know I was, that period was heavy period, but actually it helped me. And uh, I remember one day I was so much worried, so much worried. And I remembered, okay, I said, Radhika, please guide me. So I said, okay, Radhe, please, I will now open Facebook. And whatever first message comes, this will be your answer. And as I opened, first message that came said, the things you are worrying today, you will laugh at tomorrow. Wow. You know, actually that time really I was saying wow <laughs> all the time. But this is nothing uh, not in today's Today, this is nothing new. This is now normal because in a way we should allow Radhika to show us, to tell us. Because who do we have? You know, she, she knows everything. She can show us. <laughs> she knows more than us. You know, we can get co confused, but definitely if we ask her to sh show, show us the way, you know, and, and it, she does. This, this I can see so many times, and not just in one place, because we shouldn't be blind followers. This is definitely. So uh, I would say, we can always say, Radhika, okay, show me, but also give me proof that I'm not just accept from the first thing that you will show me. So, what happens usually, and this is great, and also our group here uh, from 
Croatia and Serbia, uh, they know that uh, like we are together and then we talk about something, we get some realizations and then we listen to Gurudev and she's, uh, she, he, yes, he st starts to talk about the uh, about same things that we talked like maybe 30 minutes before. Totally same. So that's the point. If we allow ourselves to be guided by Radhika. And then Radhika, uh, I mean, Radhika is showing us always, but in that way, we, we come to the state that we can see, that we allow to see, and then she can show us, I'm here, don't worry, all is well, I'm yours, you are mine. You know? So Radhika loves us unconditionally. We should, we should, we should not worry. We should not be afraid. Uh, I mean, in my life, uh, and not just mine, actually, me and Mahabhava together, from when we are together, actually, this multiplied, this type of guidance, this type of uh, situations where we can just say, it's amazing, you know, wow, it's, uh, these situations are happening constantly. And I can see that uh, we, we are guided also here in this association of beautiful manjaris. You know, especially we real, realized this uh, when we went to Germany, to Suniti and uh, Gora Sundara and Jananda was there another beautiful, beautiful devotees. The real Sajatiya uh, Sangha. A real sangha of like-minded devotees. This is so much important and so much nectar. We no philosophy, just sharing, 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 and we can just say, "Wow!" For everything. So we we got so much nectar from this association. And we are blessed by all of your association, especially this sharing every Wednesday. When I can, I come, you know, if I'm not working. And so uh, I wanted to share uh, devotees from Germany and Jayananda and uh, Gora San, he knows also, <laughs> uh, yeah, about this story, what happened one month ago. Uh, my uncle, who was uh, very sick, uh, he was actually the first person who introduced me to devotees. He, was, he brought me to Radha and Krishna in a way. So he was also chanting and before. Uh, he was chanting and we talked a lot about Radha and Krishna and... Uh, so, in a way, he was my first guru, if you would say. Uh, and he was very sick lately. And for last years, he was not so much uh, chanting or talking about Radha and Krishna and so on. But uh, before he was. And I was thinking, okay, he last years he didn't do nothing or actually many years he didn't do nothing so so i was thinking what about him you know what can happen to person who stopped doing and what happened two days before me and mahabhava before he left body me and mahabhava came to him and of course he was very weak and it was clear that he will soon leave the body. And we talked with him. And I was talking to him, actually reminding him what he knew. That we are eternal, that he shouldn't worry, 
that all will be okay. After that, me and Mahabhava uh, went out and we actually prayed to Radhika. And it was, Mahabhava, if you can help me, what day it was? Mahabhava. I'm not sure it was maybe Monday. Ah, Akshaya yeah. Tritiya. Akshaya Tritiya, yeah, Akshaya Tritiya. So this is the day when it is uh, good to offer oneself to Radha and Krishna on that day. So we actually offered him that Radha Shyam take him by the hand and lead him. And after two days, he left body. And again, I asked, please, Radhe, can you tell me where he is now? Is he okay? Uh, what happened? And I asked, okay, again, I will open Facebook and I will ask, I will see what you will give me as an answer. So first answer that made sense was that he's happily residing in Vrindavana, meditating on Radha's lotus feet. This, this was written. So, okay, this is great, of course, but I wanted one more proof. And when we said, I said to our group, we have this, our uh, dear friend, Aradana from Osiek in Croatia. Uh, when I said to her that he left body, she asked me, did he wear mustache? And actually he was wearing his whole life mustache and she never knew him. She said that she was dreaming about him in morning when he left body. She was dreaming about him sitting on his bed. She was sitting on his bed and she was telling him something like you can take wheelchair that you can go somewhere but he said to her with a smile of thousand suns where i'm going i have no need for wheelchairs and then the golden light appeared and she woke up I sent her the photo of my uncle and she said, oh my God, that's him. So she saw him, she never knew him, but she saw him in the time of her, his departure, going into golden light, golden light, with a smile of thousand suns. So in a way, this was my confirmation, you know, and one more confirmation that we shouldn't worry. We are now in Radhika's hands. We shouldn't worry. We should be allowed to be guided. So please don't worry. Just love, love Radhika. And all is well. Thank you. Radha, Radha. Very amazing, Dina Dayal. One more thing I learned. I learned one more thing. It's important. And that is that I was thinking. Okay, Goranga, Nityananda, their role, it's great, but something was missing. And then I read in Radha Rasa Sudanini, Sudanini that actually we should ask, ask Goranga and Nityananda blessing that we have the power to accept Radha and Krishna Prema, that we become ready, a vessel that can accept this Radha and Krishna Prema. Because I, I remember in some situations in my life when 
I don't want to brag about it, but maybe it's important. Uh, when Radha and Krishna appeared in some way, it was so much strong that I remember I couldn't hold it. I was asking, please put me back. I can't. So much. So now when I read this, I understood. Yes, we need to ask Goranga and Nityananda for their blessing that we can accept Radha and Krishna Prema. That it will not be too strong for us, that it will be just the right, that we, that we can take it. You know, that it's not uh, too heavy, so we need to move from there. That we can, that, <coughs> sorry, that we can fully take it. And of course, blessing of association of great devotees, like all of you. Thank you for your association. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so let me give you a small uh, comment. Actually, uh, Dina Dairaji and Mahababaji, practically speaking, I met directly in this, uh, this Europe sewer, in especially Suniti's house. And uh, we, we discussed many things. We were asking what is your background, what is your experience, what is your feeling. And we are discussing the discussion. Sometimes we forget to time. Oh, what time now? And then, at that time, I was so much jet lag, I could not, uh, you know, uh, like my brain's a little bit kind of not clear. But uh, talking, talking, and the more enlivening, you know, I forget kind of uh, tiredness, like jet lag, for completely forget. And uh, so exciting uh, meeting. And uh, it takes, I think, a couple of days we, we are together. And we together... Uh, we are sometimes sing together, we are sometimes, uh, I think, read together, something like that. And then uh, that is so nice. This is a kind of uh, Sajati Sangha with uh, uh, Suniti Gorasundara, with uh, other devotees at that time, Chakshiji also there, Mohini also there, Mamohanji. And uh, another devotee, other devotees there. They are so kind. They came from very long distance. They drive, uh -huh. the Karindi drive, I don't know, five, six hours. And uh, another devotee also, many, many devotees. Sadhma also kindly came. Uh, no, Sadhma, no, uh, Sudevi. Sudevi. Sudevi also came to Kuram quite far, far away place. And uh, many devotees come to see and uh, try to get association. I really appreciate and thank you to, you know, Dina Dayar and uh, uh, Mahababa. Of course, you know, Suniti Gorasundara and all other devotees. I could not say all devotees' name. I'm, <laughs> please forgive me. <laughs> Maybe Mahabhava wants to say something. Uh, well, I don't know. Actually, uh, you you said it all. <laughs> you, you said everything, basically. Um, I would just like to add how beautiful is this uh, Sajati Sangha. And actually... This is the first time in my life, basically, that I really have, I feel support and, and your, all of your love. Because I've been with devotees for many, many years, and not always there was Sajati Sangha available. There was just everybody there, you know, and I, I actually 
I couldn't really um, find support many, many times in my life, even among devotees. And this is now, uh, even in my town, this town where I, I usually come, I, I'm, I'm, we are like on relation uh, between Zagreb and Subotica, like two countries, for those who, know, those who don't know. Um, so Dina Dayal travels, he has to travel five hours uh, one way to, to reach me in my town where I work. Uh, and I have a mother here also to take care of, and he it's in in another country, and then also I travel to Zagreb to Croatia, so we are back and forth like this for seven years now. We would like to uh, move together, and we actually really pray for the blessings to be able to do so. And um, I can say that. In this town, I have nobody, really. No devotees. Actually, there are devotees. But they just didn't want me, you know. So, this having you all here, you know, these Zooms and everything, they're so precious. They're really precious. They're really so valuable. I don't know. My spiritual life would be nowhere without all of you. I can tell you honestly, because just being uh, alone in the town with no devotees, it's not really, it's no fun. <laughs> but having all of you and even those, these two years of lockdown, you know, basically you couldn't go anywhere. And these sanghas have saved, saved me, you know, also having me this, uh, Zoom sanghas where we can actually, in a sense, we meet with Guru Dev also and meet all of you. And this is why this meeting all of you in Germany was really special for me, you know, because I finally saw some people who I only knew through Zoom. And it was so amazing, you know, seeing each other there and looking at each other like, oh, I can touch you in 3D, you know. <laughs> I can hug you. It's so beautiful when you can actually hug people you love, devotees. Amazing. And with some devotees, like Raseshwari, yeah? Did I say correct? Yes. Yeah. Raseshwari. We, we just looked at each other, you know, like this, and we couldn't really say anything we just felt so much love for each other it was amazing and all of the because we met for the first time there and some people some devotees that i knew from before actually we were already like oh you know same same kind of love but this with her was something very 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 special because i saw her for the first time and you know you see the person for the first time and you see, and you feel so much love for her. That means we are connected in some other levels, not physical, not uh, any kind of uh, material level. But actually, when you we are all connected on spiritual levels in our uh, eternal seva, in our eternal svarup, these connections are most precious and most deep and most loving. So we in our spiritual realm, in our spiritual identity, it's not that we are only uh, uh, turned towards Radha and Krishna. No, this love goes in all directions because we, the same way that we love, that we love Radhika, and that the, the same way we love all of our uh, uh, friends and, and every little particle in Vrindavan is filled with the same love, just like we read, uh, re re read in Radrasa Sudaniri. We have these readings. Actually, I wanted to mention uh, to mention a few wonderful devotees also that we have um, every Sunday. We have, like, so to speak, half private. <laughs> I don't know because anyone could join if you'd like to. We have. 
on Sundays, we had a little group of like-minded friends, like one devotee from UK, Dina Krishna uh, Prabhu, uh, and then Jagatam Didi also. Uh, very, very fine, very beautiful devotees, very, very deep, both of them. And, and then Dina Dayal, myself, and Shiva Prada joins us, and Yashodama also from Belgrade. Sometimes also Aradhana comes, and uh, sometimes uh, Shyama Priya from UK also. So we have these sanghas every Sunday evening, and we read Radha Sasudanidi, and we read uh, Saints of Raj, these two books. Sometimes these sanghas, these, these Zoom sanghas last for, I don't know, how many hours? We start at two, 6 p.m. Three, three or four hours. Even, uh, yeah. We start at 6 p.m. And we last time we ended at 10 p.m. <laughs> it was so amazing and such beautiful sharing. So I, I, I don't know, I just had to mention this also, how... These, these uh, uh, sanghas are so important and sharing and reading together and exchanging our um, realizations. And, and especially about Radharasa Sudhanidhi, I want to say that one of my fresh, uh, so to speak, realizations, I don't know if I, uh, this is just mercy from Radhika, actually. When we read Radharasa Sudhanidhi, um, each time we might read the same, we probably know, you all know because you're all very experienced in this, but probably you have also experienced yourself. Each time you read the same verse, you feel as if you have read it for the first time and new realms, new things start revealing themselves through this one and the same words. And one more thing, we, we came to realization, all of us, that Radharasa Sudhanidhi is Radharani herself in a book form, that she is there, that actually... Uh, Gurudev, you're muted, we can't hear you. Uh -huh. oh, we can't hear you, Gurudev. Hmm? Would you like to say something? No, no. Hey, I'm no. Ecstasy. ecstasy. I can <laughs> dance. <laughs> both of them. Okay. okay. Uh, so, so Radharasa Sudhanidhi is Radhika herself. And we could experience that she is in, in while we are reading her, she reciprocates which, with each and every devotee who is reading. What, how, that, how did we come to this conclusion or realization? Is that when, um, for instance, we start reading and then we drift off into sharing some realization, some talking, and we kind of reflect on those things that we have read. And sometimes we talk about <laughs> some leelas. Sometimes we uh, just feel the atmosphere. And then when we talk about a certain thing, then we read the next verse. And that same thing is in that, not the verse, but the commentary of Anantadas Babaji, you know. When we, read, when we talk and then we read the next line, the next sentence, actually, oftentimes it happened, then we discovered the same words, the same thing being mentioned, you know. And then we realized that, wow, this is that Radhika is reciprocating with, with each and every one of us personally through these verses. So much love is there. Just like last uh, Sunday, this Sunday, we read, we came back to the first uh, verse of La Radharasa Sudhanidhi when um, 
Prabodhananda Saraswati is praying to Gauranga to, to be able to continue, to actually dive into, into descriptions of, of Shimati Radharani. And, you know, of course, we know that, that um, it is a tradition in Gaudiya Vaishnavism to um, always glorify Gauranga and Nityananda first. But, you know, also Prabodhananda Saraswati and also Anantadas Babaji could just simply say Jai Go Nityananda and, and stop there. But they, he didn't. He actually continued. It was a very long commentary on Radha Sasudaniri and packed with pure mercy and pure flooded, you know, the mercy of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. That's like, uh, this is what we need. When, when uh, Dina Dayal said uh, that we actually um, need the blessing, need the mercy of Gauranga. Who is Gauranga? Radha Krishna uh, together in one form, very special. So by their mercy, we actually get the ability to, to, to bear the, the weight of their praying. You know, if we try to jump directly in the, in the, in the Radha Krishna Leela, we can be completely knocked out. You know, we are just completely overwhelmed by this love and we couldn't be able to, to keep it. But this is why Gauranga comes and floods us with this frame. So we are like nurtured, nourished to be able to uh, have the capacity to take more and more and grow more and more. This, this was the first verse of Radha yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. Uh, you are muted, Gurudev, still. Maybe you, yes, you'd like to say something? Oh, you scratch me very heavily. <laughs> so I cannot mute myself. Today, I am reading Prabhupada Gita. You also read. I will give in Radha Dasya that what I read and underline. I start feeling I am reading what I am reading. Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita Anandas Bhavaji. Then I realized who realized who becomes Siddha. They are talking only one thing, not other things. This is the perfection in life. When we become some mercy come of Radharani, then we realize. What I don't realize before, after a hundred times reading. Yes. One thing I realized today, I know relate with one word, what Prabhupada is writing always, in introduction and other place, is parampara. Mm -hmm. Well, I said, what is Parampara? It's not a family lineage. Like in Brahman, they say, this is my Parampara. This is my lineage. This is my lineage. India, they say this. I said, why spiritual Parampara? Why mention this? It was very confusing to me. But today I realized Parampara. In Tantin, Prabhupada said, there are many Paramparas. One who is intimate and one is not intimate. One is related and one is not related.
oh after reading it still is going on to me that wow prabhupad this is the meaning of parampara that who is not related they are impersonal right their lineage are different and who is related <coughs> in the relation their mood will be different and that is only possible when this realization comes how to relate to swami all become crystal clear we understand this is my parampara so we can feel we can live together understand together and this is not my lineage not my line so we don't understand it because we practice so much in personalism that we cannot know the relation intimacy understanding and then we avoid to know that but the moment we realize it and we move in that intimacy and relation and connection then we see this is my family this is my place this is my way i don't want to go out from that yes right yes i will say to punyam to take picture and send him radha raj and check this 1050 prabhu pal book prabhu pal writing and now i think by intimacy you will realize different thing after <laughs> and some days you will only talk this and you will leave in this wow what a surprise i am on to Gauri Devi is teaching me, and I am learning from her. If she wants to share, she can also share, or you can by your realization you can go to India. Only what? Parampara. Ten fourteen. Ten fourteen. Ten fourteen. Ten fourteen. Ten fifteen. I forget the numbers. No, no. Yeah, but it's a ten, fourteen, ten, fifteen. Both you say. Mm. This is this is so much uh, interesting. How we can read the book, same book, so many times, and then in less time when we read, we see, wow! I never saw this inside. But actually, this is the point we we are seeing it by different eyes. So. I become intimate. I become close. You become my son. I can see more to you. Hmm. If you are loving, or you are naughty, no problem. But I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> This is even, <laughs> even before when we met first time. I fall in love with you. Yeah, I will say I was in a way pushed to accept Ananta Das Babaji first. Yeah, But actually, actually, I wanted you all the time. You know, this is the seed he gave one Mahajan yeah. that sprouting now. I am watering, and he's sprouting. So this is the mercy of Ananta Das Babaji in your life. Uh, I will. I will just say one thing that when I started to go to Ananta Das Babaji, I was confused in a way because I was listening more from his disciples, some disciples, and they had a different concept. And as I read more and more of his commentary, I see he didn't think 
that way, how I was first told, you know, that uh, he was really what we are talking here, you know? So... Actually, the start was see only the ritual side. Yeah, yeah. Rule, regulation and this. Yeah, because you know? when I came, they gave me so many papers, these mantras, that mantra. Come on. <laughs> I was immediately like, what? <laughs> and he himself said, these are all ready. Yes. Only we have to take support from that. We don't need to leave in that. Yes. That. I open myself. I want to meet myself. Mm -hmm. I have to listen all of Close it. He sent only 15 or 14 hours. 14 and 7. 14 and 15. 15 hours. Right? Yeah. For the yeah. he says that she is the teacher. I'm a student, bogus student, but he <laughs> listen to teacher, my teacher. Yes. Today we read the 14th sloka of the 10th chapter, and it was amazing how Maharaj could see the meaning. In the part of, about Guru Parampara that is established by love. Real Parampara is established by love because Prabhupada explains that uh, actually the Parampara was lost. And uh, during Bhagavad Gita, Krishna uh, explains again that knowledge, explains that knowledge about Guru Parampara to Arjuna because Arjuna is is intimate friend. And due to this intimacy, this relation of love, Krishna could uh, reveal this uh, knowledge about the Guru Parampara. In fact, the Prabhupada says in, this, in the part part of the 14th text, chapter 10, as described in the fourth chapter, the Parampara system of disciplic succession for the understanding of Bhagavad Gita was lost. And therefore Krishna re-established that disciplic succession with Arjuna because he considered Arjuna his intimate friend and a great devotee. Therefore, as stated in our introduction to Gita Pansha, Bhagavad Gita should be understood in the Parampara system. And so Maharaj told this meaning of Parampara system is that due to the intimate and loving relation with Arjuna, um, this Parampara knowledge can be established. Otherwise, well, it's not possible without the relation and the intimacy. Mainly, Maharaj was explaining about intimacy. And then um, Prabhupada continues, when the Parampara system was lost, Arjuna was selected to rejuvenate it. The acceptance by Arjuna of all that Krishna says should be emulated then we can understand the essence of Bhagavad Gita. And then only can we understand that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And Mar Maharaj beautifully explained that without this Sambandha, this loving relation is impossible to understand Krishna. It's impossible. That understanding was lost. And who is not in this uh, intimacy feeling actually is following a lost knowledge. I mean, a knowledge, a parampara that brings you lost in some wrong conception. <laughs> so it was very beautiful. 
I don't know, excuse me if I explain properly, but um, it was so beautiful to understand that without this relation of intimacy, it's impossible, the concept of parampara. Parampara is not something that we have to accept because for reverence, for uh, some uh, dry re regulation. It's based on love. It's How based on Krishna love. understand himself. Yeah. Say because after, love. yeah, after in the, the following sloka explain this. Because it says, uh, when Arjuna understood what Krishna was doing, in the next sloka, say, in the next sloka Arjuna says, indeed, you alone know yourself by your own internal potency. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you you cannot understand yourself, Krishna. It's muted. No, no. You cannot understand yourself. If you are not want to learn from internal potency, <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. Please, the 15. That's why, that's why he came as Gauranga, also to yeah. understand through eternal pot, internal potency. Upper and lines, he will say. No, please explain. Read Read the then I explain that. So. This supremacy of Krishna uh, by Arjuna is understood through this relation. This is the supremacy, not that, oh, Krishna is very high, I am very small, he is the supreme, we are uh, his uh, slaves. No, this, all this principle is based on this intimacy. I am yours, I am yours, and you are mine. This is intimacy, this is their, their kind of friendship, because Arjuna, Till now, they did not see the universal form of Krishna. For him, he was a friend. They were sleeping together, laughing together, eating together, having fun, having jokes. And so uh, they had very lovely relation, very affectionate, very close. And Krishna told this uh, lost knowledge about parampara. Parampara means tradition. The tradition is the tradition of love, the supremacy of love. Of relation. Then in the 15th sloka, soon after, Arjuna understood the principle and said, Indeed, you alone know yourself by all your own internal potency. Krishna himself <laughs> cannot know himself without his internal potency. Yeah, this oh. means this principle what about of love. us? Yananda, <laughs> <laughs> what will happen to us? <laughs> So, Gurudev, can I say a little bit of comment? <coughs> yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> so, uh, I was a little bit uh, meditating parampara. <coughs> so, in Bhagavad Gita, say, parampara comes from Krishna. So, until, say, until uh, certain point, only Krishna's parampara. And then from difficult to say from Mahaprabhu, or maybe we say Ishwara Puri, or we say Madhavendra Puri. But anyway, from Mahaprabhu, this parampara divides two ways. Because Radhika, Mahaprabhu's Radhika. So from, from Mahaprabhu, Radhika line is more clear, more intimate relationship with Radhika is very clear. And then our Nitai is more clear to show us this intimate relationship of, with, with Radhika. So therefore, Parampara from Krishna to certain stage, maybe Mahaprabhu or maybe before Mahaprabhu, before Mahaprabhu is only Krishna Parampara. But mm -hmm. after that, Krishna with Radharani, with, inter with uh, own potencies. So from that one, this Manjari's parampara is clearly mentioned, clearly disclosed. That's, I felt good there. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Very good. But you read this 14 and 15, what Prabhupada wants to say is also very similar. And when we not adopt, we adopt impersonal parampara, then our thinking and association is different. And when we adopt to learn from pleasure giving, that is the, also one line, that sweet parampara. So, this is amazing. Huh? So that is free, sir. You say, I mean, Class after calling. So the call face. You touch it, it will go there. No, no, it's not a face of the good. I just just said you say. Mm -hmm. I know more. Please give this. So this is the point. Mm. Yeah, can I also say something? Yes, too. Uh, so actually, the binding, the glue that binds parampara together is love and intimacy. Uh -huh. yeah. This that is the connecting power, love and intimacy. And yeah. what is that love is actually Radharani herself. Yes. So, and also, it, it was said that parampara was, was kind of lost until Goranga came. And when Goranga came, he had infused uh, the parampara with love and intimacy, especially with the energy of, of Radhika, her mercy. And this is when, uh, this, this is a living, a loving, uh, parampara is established through loving relationships. We yeah, well, each yeah. other. Yes, yes. Not just yes. blind following and out of fear, rules, fear, you know. Whenever there is fear and, and just a mechanical following, that it's not binding, it's dividing. It's dividing, it's become lost. Yes. After it will become lost, the knowledge is dry, becomes dry, is finished. That's then it. Can I has to re-establish the principle. We say also we are follower of Chaitanya, but we are missing something, what he is telling. Very nicely, very clear, I, it was so beautiful. And even Krishna not understand himself, his sweetness, without pleasure giving good. Yeah. So it's not Krishna Guru, it's not Krishna Parampara, never. No Krishna Parampara, Radha Parampara. Who don't understand Prabhupada clear to this. But we don't, the teacher not understand, he cannot explain it. Of nobody no pleasure giving potency, what is this? Um, he did not understand, then how she will understand Radha? Twenty years devotion practice, but they not understand this. So good but day. I'm, just <laughs> sorry, uh, I wanted to say just in connection with this that they are twenty years and they don't understand it. The point is they are afraid. They, they want in some way to understand it, but uh, also they are scared because through teaching, uh, they were taught this is not uh, on your level, you cannot go there, this is, uh, you know, you need to stay here, you need to be humble, but this humbleness is not real humbleness, this is fake humbleness, because real humbleness comes from love, not from fear. 
This is the last. The last. Uh, and this this doesn't mean you are uh, graveling on the floor uh, in humbleness. You are humble in your heart. Right. That's wow. Good work. Very nicely. You see that mercy of Radha Rani, everyone got the seat to share and help others. De Chris, Krishna Tattva, Tattva. What is Tattva, Jananda Maharaj? What is Krishna Tattva? Say Guru. Yes. So many people thinking Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But the real thing is Krishna is Radha is Krishna. Because he's controlled by law. That's why he's supreme. Otherwise. Yes. Jananda Maharaj say they are 12 and 12. 24 half, no? Where the half goes, they become powerful. And that is the manjari. They will. Where the half support they will. You see the Leela pastime, you will see this. Sometime half supporting in Jam, uh, Radha could bath Krishna and sometime Radha. So why? Because what Krishna Radha cannot do, Krishna will do. They want to see that. How it become his seva destroyed and again she has a chance to do. So this seva half support to Krishna, Krishna will Sometimes have support to Radha. Radha wins. <laughs> that become karma guys. See that. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> really amazing to me also. I don't know you have to clear this uh, from some Rasika. Is right or not? I feel like this. Sorry. No? This is, I don't know, some Rashka wrote or not. As far as I don't know, you know, I, I have no idea, Gurudev, because we are so far out. But uh, Gurudev, I was thinking. I'm that you not very know. far out. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not very. But, Pandit, I am a foolish, you know, everybody knows me. I don't know the philosophy. I don't know, maybe I should talk with very personally with Gurudev this, this one. I don't know what I could share or for everybody, I don't know. But how to see Manjiri supporting without how they can win? <laughs> Half yes. supporting, and yes, then is a Leela. So, Gurudev, little bit, can, can I say a little bit my crazy explanation? Yeah. Or maybe, maybe later, maybe. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know this for. So, actually, Gayatri is 24. Actually, it looks like 25 syllables. Means, but uh, reality is 24.24 plus half syllable. So, generally speaking, Kama Gayatri is Krishna Gayatri. So, and then I think Vishwana Chakrabarti explained this 24 syllable is Krishna's body. Like uh, to, uh, Nails of hand and legs and face and this cheek and uh, uh, dot, chandan's forehead. dot, and forehead is half. 
And this is his explanation. But uh, if we think both ways, Kamagari describes Krishna and Radha. And then, actually, Radha Krishna is originally one. But uh, Krishna and Radha separate because of they want to taste more. Therefore, this, this one syllable becomes half. Because Krishna from expand from Krishna to Radha. We, we could count maybe half, all half. Then all together 24.5 syllable. But this is this is not to say it's not to, it's very much moving because this half syllable is very unsteady. So therefore we need half half syllable again. Because Radha and Manjari is like a, like a half, they're, they're kind of same, but they're kind of shadow. So therefore, this half syllable as Manjari is, is helping because Lila becomes sometimes meeting, sometimes separating like this. Sometimes winning also. Hmm? Sometimes Krishna win. Sometimes Krishna win. Sometimes Radha win. Yes. yes. Therefore, this half syllable sometimes go to Radha, sometimes go to Krishna. Supporting. Supporting. I was surprised how this is support to Radha Kundalila, Krishna, because he wants to see so many. Uh, decoration how to destroy she will not do herself so supporting to krishna that you destroy it so he will he will to destroy that if radha wins she is not she is shy and krishna is never shy So he, he support here to Krishna, not to, uh, he, you have to win this time. Also, we are in this group, but you win this time. Uh, we support you. We are with Radha, but uh, we support you to win, that you destroy my our seva. Then I have a chance to do again. Radhe, Radhe. And the more taste is coming, huh? Yeah, Radhe. One time Radha also win. First Krishna win, then Radha win. When Radha win. Uh, so so the power is in Manjuris. Who will yes. win? Yes. <laughs> that, that is the pastime. If you not meditate yourself in a half yourself as a shadow. They are not full, they are half only. That is the beauty of Vishnu Chakravarti. So, no, 24 half, not 25. Jananda say, I don't, I'm not very pundit. Can I say something? Krishna Das Kaviraj Gosami wrote, Kama Gayatri 24 and half syllable. And Bishwana Chakrabati Thakur could not understand what's okay. meaning. Yeah, so meaning is clear by Vishwana Chakrabati Thakur. Kaviraj Goswami. Because he was totally Rupa Raghunath. Chaitanya-chaitamrit is mentioned like this. Yeah, Didi also wants to say. No, uh, yes, I understand this about Vishwanatha Chakravarti Thakur. 
but because Jayananda Prabhu, Jayananda Maharaj was telling uh, about Radha Krishna that they were one, then separated uh, as a tattva, no? and they are half, half. Then came to me that in the 15th Shloka, today we read about this. So, um, actually, what is coming from this is that Radha and Krishna, they are not half. It's not one and separated, they are half and half. It's like this, of course. But uh, in the 15th Shloka, it's mentioned that uh, uh, the relation between Radha and Krishna is the relation that there is between the soul and the body. So, uh, from one kind of point of view, we cannot say that uh, the body is half and the Atma is half. Actually, the soul is giving life to the body. And the relation between Krishna and Radha is that Radha is the soul of Krishna. Only just to add something else. In the 16th Loka, uh, Arjuna says, Indeed, you alone know yourself by your internal potency. Hmm. And in the Sanskrit, this internal potency is uh, written your own Atma. You know yourself by your own Atma. I wanted to share only this. That is, um, the of and this is their uh, relation. Uh, uh, <laughs> one soul, two body. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Thank you, Didi. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, someone raised his hand. Somebody raised hand. Raised the hand. I don't know if Remy as well. Oh. <laughs> to share it was a mistake. Uh -huh. My God, 6.30 is coming 10 minutes of this. Very good. There are, just, just one short. That uh, in that song, Krishna Prema Mai Radha. Yes, uh, yeah. wow. Sorry. Explain. Uh, just, just wanted to say sorry uh, that uh, he can understand himself through his soul, and actually in that song, Krishna Prema Mai Radha, Radha Prema Mai Ohari, one verse. Uh, says uh, Krishna Pranamai Radha Radha Pranamai Ohari, actually meaning that Radha pervades the life force of Krishna, you know, and Krishna pervades life force of Radha. So they are actually Radha is in his heart, in in his life force, in his soul, actually. So again, it's Radha here. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes, but discuss this Rupad Bhagavad Gita. What is the late, if I understand today, is also worship. Wow. Never well, late. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. It's growing, sharing, going more intimate and very deep. But I will say that the clue of this uh, program is Suniti, who give Radha Dasyam and supporting by Gora Sundara. That it grows is a goddess. Jai Ho. And you have to, <laughs> one day he has to explain his feeling and the meaning of Nessi Dominus <laughs> and beauty of his realization and feeling that he is a stai. You Jai. cannot move him. You check it, he cannot, nobody can move his. As type of fixed nature. 
Open by Gurudev. Yes, yeah. <laughs> See that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. And you see my son, how he's changing and deep giving sharing. Thank so you, nice. my dear. Mercy of you, Gurudev, and all the Vaishnavas. True. This is Parampara. Yes. yes. Now, Radharani Mati gave by Suniti to us that we can live in this feeling. Radhe Radhe. Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev. Give us more feelings. Yes. Your responsibility is more Suniti because you give this name. <laughs> My God. <laughs> I decline. No? Up top, no. So, decline. You can do. No. No. Rather, much, rather. much more close, no? Yes. To everyone. We have come much more close, My, more feeling coming when we visit us, when we meet, in the meeting there comes some personal relationship. And I can feel also that this is the growing of the soul, that this growing of feelings is a growing in the soul. Soul becomes very happy and then we can enter this, the form, we can grow together and becoming a real manjari, live in this, no? Different energy coming. I am very proud of all the few, and very much respect and love to Jananda Maharaj. Yeah. Who tried to come to Europe. Yeah. That how he is helping. And you was also there, Gurudev. Yes, Gurudev. You collect us, Gurudev, and you combine us. <laughs> you pick the flowers and you make the garland and you put it around Srimati Radhika's neck. <laughs> Many things happen now. I I see in the Zoom and uh, personally how how much growing is is going on now. So much mercy is flowing. All all the, the, your disciples are so beautiful now, and uh, also even Manmohan. He is not. He he took a, a, another guru. But he was uh, astonished. He, now every time when we meet him, he say, my God, this Sangha is unique. Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable. Now I understand what is meaning of one-pointed. <laughs> he, has, he has to think now. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. So he can see this and he can feel this, how much. How beauty, how much beauty is in the Sangha, in our Sangha. And we also can see this all the same. No? We can feel this and it is very beautiful. <laughs>